Egypt is entering its third and final day of voting in an election where turnout is expected to have a major influence on the legitimacy of incumbent President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi's claim to the leadership. Sisi has publicly called on more challengers to stand, despite arresting or intimidating all but one of those who have challenged his bid to retain the presidency. Voters said they had been offered money, boxes of basic food and services to cast their ballots, or to at least ink their fingers to make it look as if they had. Reuters reported, a woman living in Cairo's working-class ward estate, who asked to remain anonymous fearing retaliations from the authorities, said, I've never voted before, and I didn't intend to this time either. I just went and dipped my finger in the paint and took the 50 pounds. Get Egyptian voters said authorities had offered them money, and gifts to make sure they would vote they told me that if I voted and showed them the ink on my finger I will get a bag woman accusing authorities of bribery another woman confirmed that she was promised goods to turn out to the polling station as well. She said, they told me that if I voted and showed them the ink on my finger I will get a bag. The alleged bribery seems to have been practiced on a national level. Managers at a government financial institution gave their employees half of Monday, the first day of voting. Off. One employee told Reuters he and his colleagues were told to not come back without ink on their fingers and that on the following day their hands had been checked. In Behera province, Governor Nadia Abdo made the exchange of favor even clearer. Getting only one contestant is running against incumbent President Sisi he told me we're private TV channel on Monday. Whichever municipality has the most votes, we will fix their water, sewage and electricity. We will reward those people who came out in large numbers. The incumbent president is running against just one candidate, as all the other opponents have been eliminated through arrests and intimidatory acts, according to the opposition. Mr. Sisi's only opponent, Mosa Mostafa Mosa, 65, has been deemed as a dummy candidate. Mr. Mosa, who leads the GAD party, had previously endorsed Sisi for a second term and even organized events to help nominate the former military commander up until a week before the nomination deadline. Falling on January 29. Mr. Moses' Facebook page has carried a portrait of the incumbent president with the statement Long live Egypt, Abdel Fattah el Sisi for president until his candidacy was announced, Al Jazeera has reported. Getai President Sisi led the overthrow of freely elected Islamist President Mohamed Morsi in 2013. Mr. Sisi, 63, dismissed the accusation he purposely eliminated his opponents. He said in a recent TV interview, It is not my fault. I swear to God, I wish there would have been more candidates for people to choose who they want. But they were not ready yet, there is no shame in this. Egyptian authorities arrested former Army General, Sami Anan in January after he tried to enter the race, saying it broke military rules. Former Prime Minister Ahmed Shafiq announced his candidacy in self-imposed exile from the United Arab Emirates but withdrew it before returning to Cairo and human rights lawyer Khaled Ali said he withdrew his name after coming under pressure and facing obstacles getting on the ballot. Former military commander Mr. Sisi, 63, led the overthrow of freely elected Islamist President Mohamed Morsi in 2013. His role in the military campaign against Islamist militants has been also used to pressure people to cast their votes. Hosts of state-run radio programs told listeners that if they did not vote, they would be betraying the blood of the martyrs in Sinai referring to the insurgency which took place in the northern Sinai Peninsula in 2014.